down. Oh, excuse me. All right. Oh, man. All right. Let's do it. Let's get into the end of this uh, this case. Let's finish it. Trial day two. Athena did not sleep. <clears throat> okay, so it's a it's falsified. Yeah. So it's fake evidence. Dude, I I hope he's not here just for one case, but even if he is, I love him. Based base clavier. Thank you, get uh was it, is it Gavin? All right. The Sykes Brigade. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, totally disregard all of this, right? We're gonna prove that none of that is, is actually what happened. Because it's not going to the script. Objection! We stand up. <laughs> yeah. There's no mat though. 
No, there's no mat though. It's a red herring. I think it's just such a red herring trying to make it seem like it's part of the whole like you know the tr like part of the mock trial script This guy's so smug, I hate him. Electrical diagram, voice print analysis, stage set of photos, <laughs> the burnt fragments, small banner, <coughs> a scrap, justice, photo. She was heading towards me, so I assume she's on her way to the maintenance area. Between the stage and maintenance area? Alright, if I'm gonna say that... I 
there's that like fence, right? And the fence like blocking off this the maintenance area from the stage. So where the hell did he see it from? Like right, like there's like that stuff's in the way. Objection! Okay, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to see that. It's blocked. Got his ass. Perjury. Perjury. This is the guy that says mouth breathing. This guy sucks. This guy sucks. Absolutely dumpster. Objection. This is interesting now, isn't it? Hold it? Oh, that that's him? I never would have put that two and two together, honestly.
God damn it. His neck. Oh, because he has a collar on. So you can't see his neck. You can just tell if he takes that collar off. Oh, okay. Oh, that's an interesting collar. Like a choker. Neckband, whatever. Twenty five. He took a seven year break from school. Oh, he, oh I love that Blackwell is just loving this. Blackwell is loving this. Twenty five year old high school student. Body? He might be an accomplice. Move the screen? Move yourself, move the bot. Sure. to shoot himself in the face of the arrow. Uh, I would argue it does. a fake wound.
the banners. Objection. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Th this was. Yeah, we kind of figured this one out. Especially with the blood. Yep, this is easy. Objection! Objection. Objection! Nope. body yep I said this uh, when we saw this the first time I was like oh damn right there the body could have been put right in that like pouch and brought down and for some reason the Gavineer's banner is burned to a crisp Objection. probably because the body died on that and then probably the blood was all over it so they had to burn it which is why you only found traces of blood in the art room. It was before the Gavineer's banner was gonna had been put on there. I don't think it's blood at all. Objection. Damn it. Not blood. Oh, Fulbright, what have you done? Oh, Blackwell's not going to be happy with you. And I was quick. Hey, let's go. It's used blood. Oh, there it is. And that puts him at the scene of the crime. <laughs> what if we push our blood samples together? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Unless...
used blood. Objection. When's the used blood emote? What the fuck? Hi, open this envelope and have a fucking razor blade spring out and cut you. Who the fuck? Is this some like Joker bullshit? Like from that Batman? Jesus Christ. Miriam, what the fuck? Scuttlebutt is insane. Scuttlebutt will cut a bitch. Yeah, they were broken. They literally got broken. Probably did. They did collide. Then it wasn't moved during. Objection. Yeah. <laughs> Flying sack of shit. Get him for perjury. Perjury. Charge him with perjury. They always commit perjury. Excuse me. Objection. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna go into the uh, left again. Yeah, okay, so now we're doing this stuff. Be our boy. What? 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 This guy, I just want, I want to be done with him. Objection. Can we prove that he's not a genius? You know why he's right? I don't believe it. It makes no sense. Funny farm called. Objection. Oh, I'm gonna mood matrix. Walked away. He just fucking walked away. He's like, fuck this, I'm out. I'll be back later.
Maybe it's him? It's probably him. He's a narcissist. Not him. I thought it was him because he's a narcissist. Got it. No, not Newman. What is he happy about? Oh. 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 Got it. <laughs> the lie. Kind of creepy since he's, you know, 25, and I don't know how old she is. I hope she's at least 18. She at least 18. Okay, she's at least 18. She is 18. Okay. Objection. Hey, Blackwell's back. Why is there shock here? Let's start with shock. for two on this one. Oh, I'm gonna guess it's the lack of emotion. It's gonna be the lack of emotion. Or the fact that happiness is really strong in this last one. Got it. 
Okay, it's gonna be the lack of emotion somewhere. There's no lack of emotion here. Got it. Yep, there you go. Lack of emotion. <laughs> he just gave us evidence. Professor means his seat was empty at the time. Which means he wasn't in the hall. Sadness? Here we go. You know, he keeps breaking out of his shackles consistently. How much money do they have to keep spending on shackles? Hold it! Silence. Got him. Want to get shocked again? Yeah. 
So why is he working a part-time job? It's, yeah, it's the, the choker. They're holding hands. They're easy to touch, or where they're hard to spot. It's probably where they're easy to touch. On the arm. On our wrist. Well, Connor's out of the way. Anime. <gasps> Robin, those bands of friendship that you made, just for the three of us. You may have forgotten about them, but not me. friends the power of friendship <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be serious but i can only laugh the power of friendship maybe the murder was the friends we made along the way Zen in the art of mastering the bar exam. <laughs> it's so silly, Brad. Oh my god.
the roundabout. Make you scream and out and out. Put things away. Hi, time to bring in Miss the, the Professor Means. Come on, dance. Such a banger, dude. Fuck this guy. Silence. Could have been recorded. Be recorded. Absolutely forged evidence, dude. I, I feel like I'm right. Means killed her to stop because she found out about the bribes and she might have been willing to take it to the like, like to expose the, the underbelly because of her, the differing ideological like stances that her and Means have where she's very much about the truth. And Means is is like any by any means necessary the ends justify the means i'm taking bribes give me money the soft fleshy underbelly of the dark side of the law like the white underbelly of a black cat Reminder that black cats are actually super sweet, and I don't know, I mean, superstitions are dumb, and that's why people don't want a black cat, but black cats are pretty fine. Ask my buddy Brad, he's got an off, an awesome black cat. Objection. He is, a uh, uh, what's that cat's name? Because there's, I know, Apollo Clay... Juliet's the dog. No, no, Ellie's the dog. So it's Juliet? She's kind of a bitch, though. I mean, she's a cat. That's all, that's all cats. No offense, all cats are kind of a bitch. They're adorable and lovable sometimes, but Julietta, that's it. You can't tell me that Clay and Apollo aren't sometimes kind of bitches. Then again, they're boys though, so maybe they're not as bitchy. Clay is all sweet. <laughs> Sweet 
See, I've never had male cats. Um, and it would be, and none of my family members have ever had male cats. They've always ever had female cats. <laughs> Apollo's at war with the life-size Pikachu plushie. That's hilarious. Why are you not recording videos of that? That's peak content. You know what? I should have known that he was the bad guy when he gave the OK symbol. I tried to defend him. I was like, you know, maybe this game this game was made before that was a bad symbol, but no, this game this game foreshadowed. Also, that smile is goddamn horrifying. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. Rise, youth of our nation. How was that go? Rise, oh, oh, rise, the youth. God, how does the speech go from Professor Van Dyke in, um, or Principal Van Dyke in Cold Steel? Dude, Black Wolf fell asleep. Oh, shit. That is not a pure white Lady Justice. That is a gold statue. Please don't cut my tongue out. That's it, oh rise youth and become the foundation of the world. Also, what's up, Spudkip? That's that's it. Hold it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take that. Got his ass. Objection. Time to show that it was oh, the tape recorder, but it's not that, it's the um, analysis. There's 10 minutes and 35 seconds of noise.
Man. Silence. Silence. This guy is so scum. All right, testimony. I don't agree with that, though. The dark side of the law. Yeah, means has a very well layered pun. Whether it be the means what I say, say what I mean, means to an end, and justifies the means. It's really good. What's his first name? We just know this professor means. Aristotle. Why'd it have to be Aristotle? I mean, he is a thick boy. He do be thick. Arrest that all. Arrest at all. That's a little bit of a stretch, I think, but not bad. But it's a stretch. I don't believe that.
Actions and words. Burnt fragments are gonna get brought up. Oh wait, do we have anything that proves that How do we prove that she was the snitch? Right, the snitch. That would prove that I don't know how he proves the snitch. Prove the snitch. Maybe it's not the snitch. Oh wait, 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 wait. I just passed it. He gave it to Hugh and made a fake. That if you want to defend someone, you wouldn't use that. Yeah, so like, I said I would protect her. You're not really protecting her, though, if you're... Blackmailing her. Oh, well, not blackmailing, but fabricating evidence for you. Objection. Okay, yeah. That scene that had just come up where, like, Hugh told us that, it, like, he gave it to, that means gave it to Hugh, like, crossed my mind. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Got it, ass. Yo, what's up? All oh, how you doing? Welcome to Dual Destinies. We're in uh, case three. We're in the uh, last section of it. We are fighting the professor who just became evil. Oh, he, yeah, he just, he literally just went sicko mode. Oh, man. <laughs> Home room, October 26. Are, are we getting taken to school? He went from Athens to Sparta. <laughs> Yo, Aaron. A uh, a is there an Aaron? Aaron. A I'm digging it. I'm enjoying it. I the DLC case I really liked. 
I was a very big fan of the DLC case. Um, case 2 is okay. Case 1 was pretty bland. It was your typical intro case. Especially coming off of, like, the intro case in Apollo Justice, which is, like, really good. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of just, like, back to, like, your basic intro case. Here's the characters. Which isn't bad. You know, it's a way to introduce the game. Um, this has been a really fun case. I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, that, that case just goes wild. The intro to Apollo Justice, I love that one, but it was definitely, like, bouncing off the walls. It was good. Um, yeah, the only ones I have left to play that I haven't played are, uh, Apollo, I'm sorry, Dual Destiny, Spirit of Justice, and Great Ace Attorney 2. I play these games every weekend. We do one case a weekend. We call it Weekend Lawyer. And uh, once I'm done, I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm hoping they announce an Ace Attorney 7. That would be really nice. Uh, but I had played off stream, I had played Ace Attorneys 1, 2, and 3, and Great Ace Attorney 1. Uh, I played the fan translation of Great Ace Attorney 1 before the Chronicles got announced. <laughs> um, but then I decided I wanted to stream the rest of them. So I started with Edgeworth, uh, with Miles Edgeworth Investigations 1, 2, then Apollo Justice, now we're on Dual Destinies. Yeah, Ace Attorney 1 and Ace Attorney Investigations 1 plus 2 were so good. Those games are so good. Yeah, my, my buddy Brad here uh, was a huge fan. I think they're considered spin-offs, but I include them because they're such high quality. They're, in my opinion, Investigations 1, especially Investigations 2, are super high quality games that I don't even know if I consider them spin-offs. Yeah, like Great Ace Attorney, I think is considered spin-offs, but they're also like really good. Also, I am realizing that, like, any scene with this transformation drops my stream frames down to, like, 30%. Or down to, like, 30 frames a second. <laughs> That's what I've been told is Great Ace 2 is, like, the cherry on top. is like, the icing. Um, and I'm glad I'm saving it for my last game of Weekend Lawyer until Ace Attorney 7 is announced. I have to imagine they're going to revisit Ace Attorney at some point based on sales. Just based on sales alone of how well Great Ace Attorney Chronicles sold and how well the trilogy 1, 2, and 3 sold and how much I tell you 4, 5, and 6 would sell if they put it out there. Um, I, I have a feeling Capcom is going to see that they have money. They, they, they're going to get money from it. It's worth the investment. It's just... Are they gonna, like, is Shu gonna write it? Are they gonna get everybody back? Because it's been... <sighs> Great Ace Attorney 2 is the last game done by anybody, and that came out in Japan when? Like, when did Great Ace 2 come out in Japan? 2017, yeah, it's been all five years since the last Ace Attorney game. Uh, at all. So, I gotta imagine a new one's coming within the next, like, two years. The end of 3DS lifespan. And I have a feeling that, um... I have a feeling that, uh... I mean, Capcom's so inundated right now with Street Fighter, Resident Evil, and Monster Hunter... So I don't know when they're going to get around to doing it. But I think that the sales alone kind of tell you that they've been selling very well in the States. Like, Great Ace outweigh, I think, overperform their expectations.
I was not at school. Objection. Also, yeah, this is like destroying my encoding. For some reason, his transformation is like dropping my encoding so hard. This is like the con of playing on Emu. Um, is I wish, like, I'm excited to get back to like the Switch for Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, so I can like not overload my system. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look too terrible on stream. Ah, right, that's good. Yeah, Citra gets rough. It does, like, like almost all of the time it's fine. Some anime cutscenes, it, it takes a huge dip. And then, of course, those anything in the courtroom has been a pretty big dip on certain things. Investigations have been, very, have been pretty much perfect, though. But I'd rather do it this way than try to capture my phone. Or run a, a, a Android emulator, which I think would actually probably take more resources. Testimony. Oh god, the testimony is going to be on this, which is going to be so slow. Hmm. Is this where the broken statue is going to come into play, maybe? I'm loving Robin as a character, too. Robin's been pretty fun. Alright, cross-examination. Let's do it.
turn this case upside down. Commit murder without going there? Ha! <laughs> ha! Yeah, Black Whale's been pretty interesting. I want... I'm hoping a case will go into, like, more backstory on Black Whale. I want to know why he's in jail. Like, I want to know what happened to him. Kind of like how we learned how Godot, about Godot in uh, Trials and Tribulations. Because there are some things about Black Whale that we don't know yet that I'm super interested in. I still think my favorite prosecutor currently is Gavin. I love Clavier. He's also mega hot. Murder weapon? Crime scene? Or No, I don't think we're wrong about the suspect here. I think it's him. Oh, shit. I think that's what... Yeah, okay, 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 okay. It's gonna be crime scene. And you know why? I think... The body... Must have been killed on top of the Gavineer's banner. <laughs> and that's why it was tossed into the, the, the burner. Which means it was at the stage. Which means he killed her on the stage. What's that crime scene? I'm gonna safety save. What's it stage? It was made to look like it was moved. I have a reason for that. I can tell you that. It's this, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. It's it's the Gavineer's flag. <coughs> hmm. Oh man, the poor Gaviniers. I still don't know how they're gonna have a reunion when one of their members literally is in jail for murder. Silence. Oh, uh, what's his name? Um, the shark guy. I can't remember his name from Apollo Justice. Case was that case four two? Or is that four three? It's either four two or four three, and I can't remember. Was it four three? Darian, yeah, he's a, he's a murderer. He's in jail. How are you gonna have a Gavineers reunion when one of your members is? Oh, then again, damn, Grigor. <laughs> Do you remember the episode of Metalocalypus where um, who's the bassist? He's talking to some, like one of the girl, like one, maybe one of these girls is, yeah, I'm the bassist. She's like, oh, aren't you supposed to be like moving gear or something? 
The bases get such poor recognition. Objection. Then again, I was just gonna say, um, he did. He was a guitar player, not a bassist. That's right. But to be fair, to be fair, I say that, but hey, Black Will is also still practicing law despite being in jail. Artem wants to say the burnt fragments, but I don't think that's right. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it was. They tried to just destroy the evidence. You know, I just, like, <laughs> it's dawned on me now that this week I've streamed, like, what, seven, four, 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 that's, well, 19. I, pr I have streamed probably over 24 hours of visual novel games this week alone. Between I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative, and this game. <laughs> and... <laughs> Oh man, I am I am loving the visual novels, but I am definitely looking forward to having two days off. They're very good. I'm also a, not burnt out, but I definitely need a break before I die. I mean, especially because we got the ending in Isomnium. Like we got our first ending. Yeah, we just got our first ending last night. The first one is one of my all-time favorite visual novels, and <clears throat> it is personally my favorite, uh, not my favorite, it might not be my favorite, but it's in my top three of my of puzzle progressive visual novels. My other top three would be, um, 13 Sentinels, and then, as of right now, probably I Summon 2, as I'm playing it. Um, I, all I'll say, Brad, about it is I like the fact that AI2 has a lot more variety. It has a lot more variety to it. Absolutely play 13 Sentinels. It is so worth playing. Especially if you like um, science fiction and tropes and stuff. Yo, what's up, Dimmon? How you doing, bud? Oh, Ghost Trick. Yeah, Ghost Trick would be up there as well. Uh, for me personally, either Somnium Files 1 currently, because I haven't finished the second game yet, currently sits as my personal favorite Uchi Koshi game. Yeah, it's just mechanically better. And it has less Ota, and I hate Ota. Is it the Lady Justice statue? That makes sense. Silence. Oda sucks. I hate Oda. All my homies hate Oda. <laughs> Fucking Oda, dude. Great voice actor. Terrible character. Point us to the body? It's not to hide the body, it's to, to move, have us, like, discover the body. Yeah, I, I have learned my lesson now. 
Um, <clears throat> I did not, like, going forward, I try my best to play, like, any, what Brad calls PPVNs, puzzle progressive visual novels, which I do actually like that genre term. Um, I actually think it, it is a, it is, because visual novels themselves, you can just say VN, but, like, 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 13 Sentinels isn't a PPVN. That's a tower defense visual novel. Very good, though. Um, and, like, but, like, visual novel, like, Steins Gate is a visual novel, but there's no real gameplay of Steins Gate. It's literally a novel. You just watch it. You, you just read. Um, I like my visual novels with some gameplay elements. I w see, that's, I, I tried on my own playing Steins Gate, and then I realized, like, about an hour in, I want to just watch this as an anime. That's where I'm at with visual novels. Oh, yeah, Monkey Island Mist. Like, any kind of adventure point and clicks are puzzle progressive novels. Um, in a visual medium, which you could then say they are visual novels, but generally visual novels are referred to as for Japanese games. Um, whether you like that or not. But, I mean, it's still, like, puzzle progressive. You progress through the game by solving puzzles. And, like... Danganronpa is puzzles. Ace Attorney are puzzles. I the Somnium is puzzles. 999, the Zero Escape games are puzzles. At the end of it, the core gameplay outside of the novel is puzzle. And I think that's what I like a lot, is the puzzle mixed with novel. Um, I really, like, that's the thing. It's like, 13 Sentinels is, in a sen is not really puzzle. The gameplay element is more tower defense. And it's still cool as shit. Like, I still love that. Um, but I haven't played many visual novels that aren't puzzle visual novel. I think that's the reason why 13 Sentinel stands out so much for me. Is its core gameplay element is not the puzzle part. And you get the plot pop off for solving a puzzle for sure. Yeah, like, that's the thing with pure VNs. I think I would just rather watch it as an anime. Not often do I agree with my buddy Brad on some of his wild takes on gaming genre names. Do not ever say the words roguelike or metroidvania around him or he will kill you. <laughs> uh, what is your replacement term, Brad, for metroidvanias? You have like your own term for it. You know, search action, okay. You know what I'm gonna say? The Trail series? The Trail series. Trails of Cold Steel, Trails in the Sky. They're just, they're just role-playing visual novels. I'm gonna say it. They're pretty much VNs. With, because some of those cutscenes go on for hours sometimes. It feels like I'm playing a novel with points. <laughs> Reminded that my Cold Steel 4 playthrough was almost 100 hours, and I used to turbo. <laughs> oh, it was like a freaking novel, dude. Blackjack is a roguelike. SM64 is a Metroid. <laughs> I mean... So, Brad, uh, according to my VODs on Twitch, I want to say it came out to be 97 hours. Granted, there was a three-hour reading stream of 3 and 9, where I just read the books 3 and 9. Um, but yeah, you can look at my Twitch VODs for, for Cold Steel 4. And you tell me what the time on it says, and I'm pretty certain it says like 97 hours. Wow. 
Wow, this guy's a dick. Uh, in the West, officially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the West, officially, there are seven. Fan translations, two, so that's nine. However, the two fan translation games are getting officially localized releases this upcoming fall and then in the spring. So that'll bring the West to nine. Um, but Japan also has two more games that are out, including another game on the way, uh, which brings it up to 13, I'm sorry, 12. Well, so, so after the spring, we'll be behind, essentially we'll be behind uh, three games. Reverie, Kuro, and Kuro 2. Naoto is a maybe? Because when you say it isn't relevant, you have to say it's not relevant as far as we know. As far as we know, Nayoto is not relevant. Or Nayahutu, Nayatu, whatever, how do you pronounce it? But it does have the trails tag in front of it. And there is speculation that at some point it might be revealed that it actually is relevant. The fans are in wild crazy theory mode about that. But do play them. They are the best RPG franchise on the planet in my opinion like it's hands down the best franchise especially if you like games that have um a continuous story being told throughout the franchise where the characters you meet in sky you'll meet some of them again in um in in the zero series set a couple months later and they'll be a little bit older and then you'll see them again in the Cold Steel series, and they're like a couple like years older, and you're like, oh man, I've seen this character who was like 12, and now I'm seeing them when they're like 16, and it's like, and they clearly have been designed as if they grew up, and it's super fucking cool, and like a character shows up that you haven't seen in four games, and they just show up again, and it's like, yo, that motherfucker is back, let's go, my dude. X character is back and they're ready to fuck shit up. Let's go. I love this. It's it's JRPG uh soap opera. I love it. It's amazing. And they actually play great and the stories are all great and the music is phenomenal because Falcom Sound Team JDK do not miss. They make amazing soundtracks for the E series as well as the, you know, the Trail series. God, E's music is so good, too. Yeah, I highly recommend them. They're very, very good. And the nice thing is, no matter how long it takes you to play them, by the time you do catch up, probably the rest of the franchise will be done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you'll get to be where we are, where we're waiting for the, uh, tra the, waiting for the uh, localization. <laughs> You can usually find them on sale uh, pretty often on Steam. Uh, all of the games are available on Steam, including the two that will be coming to the West. They will be on Steam. Actually, funny enough, Trails in the Sky 3rd is only on Steam in the West. You can only get it on Steam. And it came out in 2017 on Steam. Um... It has a very, very troubled localization uh, story that if you ever watch like a Matt McMuscles video of what happened, he goes into it. Um, one, two, three for Sky is the is the beginning. Those are the first games. Um, then you can play either the cold. The, the, you can either play Cold Steel one or one and two, or Cross Spell, which is the zero and Azure. They take place at the same exact time as each other, essentially, and the endings of either one will spoil some of the information and some of the games of the other one. There's just no getting around it, so it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. I will say, uh, in release order in Japan, it was Crossbell first, then Cold Steel, and gameplay-wise, like, the, ga the mechanics change, so, like, 
Cross spell is a mix of mechanics that you'll find in Cold Steel, but not like not fully Cold Steel, but also some of the mechanics from the first games. Uh, and then once you get to like Cold Steel, once you once you're past those uh, seven, then it's just Cold Steel three, four, Reverie, Kuro, Kuro two. It's it, it makes sense when you play them, uh, and the mechanics have like adapted over the years. Also, Athena's having a uh, freakout mode. I need to know what's going on with Athena. Is is her freakout modes like related to Blackwell or something? But yeah, so uh, a lot of them end on cliff on, on cliffhangers. I'll tell you that. So, um, uh, Trails in the Sky FC leads off on a cliffhanger that that you then get to do in an SC, um, and then third is kind of like the epilogue. Zero and Azure don't have cliffhangers, which is why I think I like them the most. And then Cold Steel one is a cliffhanger. Two is the like the wrap up for it. Three has a cliffhanger. Four is the wrap up for it, and then. Reverie, which is the next one to come out that we haven't played, I haven't played at all yet. Um, that's kind of like the epilogue to both Crossbell and Cold Steel. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and, and, so the first game is really slow to start. I'll tell you that one right now. Like, the first game will take a little bit to get going. But it's setting up so much world building that you just have to kind of prep, like push through the world building. But once like it gets rolling, that ball starts to roll fast. And then when you hit the cliffhanger, you're going to want to immediately play the second one. I guarantee you. <laughs> My sole mission in life is to convince every single person I meet to play Trail series. It's why it's in my bio of, <laughs> it says play trails. <laughs> I'm such a shill for my favorite series. That and play Final Fantasy XIV. I like, I love FF14. I'm excited to get back to that later when uh, the new patch drops. Patch uh, 6.2 is going to drop in August, by the way. We'll be playing uh, a lot of... Uh, we'll be playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV again when that comes out. Nice. Nice. I'm a samurai main. That's my favorite class. Silence. Oh, I oh, mean, Persona's great. I just wish they would bring back Persona 2. Bring back Persona 2, but give us the Persona 2 that actually is Innocent Sin and, a, and Eternal Punishment as one game. Give me the one game. Because when it originally came out on the PlayStation, Japan got Innocent Sin and we got Eternal Punishment. And when the PSP versions came out, we got Eternal Punishment, but we didn't get Innocent Sin. And it's like, what the f Why can't I just have a definitive Persona 2 experience? Because you really need to play both games to have the, the definitive experience of Persona 2. And then wrong, I love Persona now. Like, the... I mean, it's... But, like... Persona 2 is much more SMT than what Persona became after, uh, after when, when Persona 3 happened. And, and I don't, I don't like, you know, I'm not the kind of fan that's like, oh, I hate that they went this way. No, I like it. I think it's fine. Yeah, going to Innocent Sin on PSP to Eternal Punishment on PS1 is kind of rough. Objection! Yeah, I think, I mean, there's a fan translation of uh, Innocent Sin uh, for the PS1. I played that one. And then I played Eternal Punishment. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, it's ridiculous. 
I'm a big SMT fan um, that hasn't played as much SMT as I wish I have. <clears throat> By that I mean I haven't played any of the uh, the Rianodo, Ryahar, whatever the hell they're called. The the ones with the guy from SMT3 that they replaced him with Dante for the West. I haven't played them. Um, I've played SMT3, 4, 4, Apocalypse, and 5. I've played Overclocked, um, was it Overclocked 1 and 2, the Digital Devil Survivor, whatever it is, the, the, the turn, the tactics games on the DS. Yeah, Raido Kuzanawa, yeah, I haven't played any of those. Um, I've played, uh, Strange Journey, but I hated it. Oh, nice. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna definitely. I'm gonna check out Soul Hackers too. I don't know when. I don't know if I'm gonna do it at launch or not. Just because there's so many games coming out right now, it's freaking ridiculous, and I can't handle. I don't. I just don't know. I just can't fit everything I want to play in on stream. Um, but I want to play Soul Hackers too. I like the cast they've announced. I'm really. And I like a lot of the stuff I've seen about the gameplay. Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is essentially just um. <laughs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions is just Fire Emblem. It's a dash of Fire Emblem. Um, uh, a good scoop full of SMT. And a huge heaping of idols. Uh, Before Apocalypse, I think, is still my favorite SMT mainline game. There's a lot of them, yeah. There's a lot of spin-offs. That's the problem. There's a lot of spin-offs. I missed that part. Yeah, I wish I had time to go play Soul Hackers before Soul Hackers 2, but as far as I understand, they pretty much said that they're not connected. Like, you don't need to play Soul Hackers to play Soul Hackers 2. <laughs> um, I have not, but I have them downloaded. I've not, I've never played an Etrian Odyssey game, and I've, for most people I've been talked to who like Etrian Odyssey have told me that Persona Q is, like, just worse at Etrian Odyssey. I think I've been, if I'm going to play one, I might put second one. Yeah, there's a lot of backlash on Soul Hackers 2 looking nothing like the first game, which is just like, okay. Like, the first Soul Hackers came out, like, how long ago? And then it got a remake, or like a remaster or something on like the 3DS. But like... I don't know, man. Fans get overly critical sometimes about some really stupid shit. I.e., people sending um, Ron Gilbert death threats because of the art style of Monkey Island. Like, it, the hell? Don't do that. Just like the people who are sending dick pics to the team behind God of War because there wasn't a new trailer. Because... <laughs> they heard a rumor that there was going to be a new trailer. People are fucking weird, man. 
The fan gamers gamers are I don't gamers are cringe. Gamers are cringe, dude. Like, you don't see us doing that with the Trail series because the localization... Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. There is a couple of people in the Trails uh, community that are extremely toxic to, uh, to NIS America. All because Ease 8 came out uh, as their first, like, as their, like, first translation of, an, of a Falcom game. And it was riddled with a lot of problems, but then they fixed the problems. And then they haven't really been all that bad since. Um, but ever since then, fans are just like, well, they they screwed up their first ever game they did for this. They're, they're terrible. They can never be trusted. It's like, what are you talking about? What the fuck am I So the same people that argue about localization versus translation. Like, they want it to be literal. Oh my god, I can't believe, like, you didn't call him Big Bro because the game calls him Oni-chan. My model doesn't express how much I'm glinting right now. I'm glaring. <laughs> Mick, God damn it. God, ah, Spud Keep, you had to say the words. I I blocked every single son of a bitch in that goddamn Twitter thread. Because people are fucking weird, dude. Shirley would never call him Mick Fire, bro. That does that's not in character. It's totally in character, but okay. I'm I am praying, Spud. That Trails from Zero keeps the, if I don't know what a bro moment is, if I, if this isn't a bro moment, I don't know what is. Zero has to keep the bro moment. That has to be in the game. I remember when that came out in the fan translation and people got all freaking up in their arms about it. So here Zendu had a fine translation. It, granted it was Axis. Uh, who did the translation or did the localization? It was like one of the only games Axis did for uh, Falcom, and you can tell they were on a freaking tight budget because there was no English VA for it. Yeah, I mean, high schoolers absolutely. High schoolers absolutely. Given her hands were tied? Wouldn't it be behind the head? Like, wouldn't it be behind the head? Like, you can't do objection, your hands are tied. And if you do behind your head, it's almost like you're pointing? Oh, the spa- the, it's like making the spikes on his hair. Yeah, high schoolers totally talk- come on. I'm pretty certain there are some high schoolers out there right now saying, Who's my little pog champ? Which is fucking cringe. Was the arrow the objection? Take that. And there are 25 year olds saying it. Unironically saying it. <laughs> hey chat. You guys are my little pog champ. Action.
Objection. What else could you use for the arm? Oh, that's a lot. Chortle and Giggle. I love Chortle. I think Chortle is a great word. Chortle is a fantastic word. Uh, dude, did he kill her or use the staff? as the? Because it's the only long thing here. Dude, man, oh, Fawful. Oh, I love Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It's such a fucking great game. So is Partners in Time. I really love Partners in Time. I, I, and I do, I, I really like Bowser's Inside Story as well. Dream Team, I unfortunately, I couldn't beat it. It was too many tutorials. I got so bored with Dream Team. Dream Team, in my opinion, is like when a game has just too many tutorials and slows everything down. And you can never just... By the time it picks up, you're stopped again for a tutorial. By the time you start to get some momentum again, it's stopped for a tutorial. But, man, the original... And Bowser, and the original and Bowser's Inside Story are my two favorite. And then Partners. They're so fun. Yeah, I don't know, for some reason, Dream Team, like, just really... It just really, I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. Every time I tried getting into it, I felt like it was slow. And it was just taking way too long for me to be interested. <clears throat> I might want to revisit it again later, but... At least when I played it, it was giving me... I, I wasn't getting into it. It's a shame that, uh, that... Was it, um... Who's the team behind them? They're, they're out of business now. Like, they're straight up. The team that made all of the Mario & Luigi series are gone. They're done. Dude, a Wario & Luigi RPG would have been fun. Alpha Dream, that's it. You know what's exciting, though? Talking about uh, Mario RPG. Um, the composer for all of the RPG games, who also did all of the music for SMRPG, is doing uh, is co-composing Mario and Rabbids, the, the new Mario and Rabbids game, Sparks of Hope. <laughs> so I'm imagining Grant Kirkhope is doing kind of more the... Uh, he's probably going to be doing more of the overworld stuff. But yeah, yeah, Yoko Shimomura is probably going to do the battle themes, at least. And I'm fucking excited for that. Yeah. Yeah, she did so many great games. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know. So, I'm a, like I said, I'm an RPG nut. Uh, the new Star Ocean game, I'm really... Ex I'm actually really kind of... I'm not if I'm, I don't know if I'm really excited for it, but I am very optimistic about it. Because Star Ocean 5 sucked hard. Uh, and Star Ocean 4 was mediocre at best. Um, but I've heard some of the music that Motoi Sakuraba is doing, and yo. Dude. If you get a chance on the Star Ocean Reddit, somebody uh, linked from the Japanese site, like they linked the, the, four, the eight tracks that are available. Listen to Raymond 1. It's probably the boss theme. And it fucking shreds. Motoi Sakuraba is is bringing the heat. So if you don't know who Motoi is, uh, Motoi does um, pretty much almost every FromSoft game that is Dark Souls 
So they didn't do Elden Ring. They didn't do Sekiro, but they did Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. And I believe Demon Souls. Um, they've done all of the Tales of games. So the Tales of Abyss, Tales of Berseria, Tales of Arise, Tales of Fantasia. Um, you know, all of those Tales games. Tales of Vesperia, Symphonia. And then they've also done all of the Star Ocean games. Uh, 1 through now 6. I believe Motoi is doing One Piece Odyssey, uh, as well as helping to co-compose Ayudin Chronicles, the RPG, the spiritual successor to Suikoden that I kickstarted. And I didn't kickstart that thing for cheap. I put like 250 bucks into it. <laughs> I uh, I put a pretty penny into Ayudin Chronicles. I'm a, I'm I'm a huge fan of Motoi's uh, composing work. So I've always been a fan since uh, the early. I think they also did Valkyrie Profile, and I think they're doing Valkyrie. I think they're also doing the new Valkyrie Profile game. I mean, could we test it for blood? Wouldn't testing it for blood like tell us if it was thrust into the victim? Yeah, Motoi, like, I'm I'm of the opinion that Motoi Sakuraba is one of those composers in video games that if I asked you, have you heard of a Motoi Sakuraba soundtrack, you would tell me, I don't know who that is, but in reality, you've absolutely heard their music at some point in your gaming career. Whether it be from an ad, or whether it be watching somebody stream it, or playing it yourself. You have absolutely heard at least one, Mo one Motoi Sakuraba track. Because anybody who's watched a Dark Souls stream has heard Motoy's music. <laughs> God, they're so, they've been doing it for a long time. Valkyrie Profile has some sick-ass music, dude. Yeah. When they were still Wolf Team, yeah. That's how far back that relationship goes. I mean, and Motoi has uh, some of the fallbacks that they go on for. They're very known for, like, uh, the guitar intro to a lot of tracks are very similar. Especially when you compare a lot of the Tales and uh, Star Ocean themes. <laughs> but then you, like, listen to something like uh, the battle theme from Star Ocean 2. Stab the Sword of Justice. It's so good. <laughs> Bathroom detail. Take part in sound. <laughs> no, how about guilty? Write it out, G. Uh huh. Keep going. Uh huh. A. Wow. That's gonna cost a lot of money for a dentist. Good thing he took a hundred twenty thousand dollar bribe. This was a fun case. I like this one a lot. I really like this case actually. This is like um. This is uh, between, like, if I'm considering 4, 5, and 6 their own trilogy, this is in the upper echelon so far of the cases I've played. Yeah, the, the breakdowns are great. I think I would put this, like, right with the DLC in this game as the two best cases I've played of this game so far. And I think uh, they would be in, like, my top uh, of the wait how many cases they played now that's one two three four five six seven eight right this is my eighth case i think this would be in my top four of those eight cases like the upper echelon the, the upper half mm. 
Yeah, Athena's objection theme is a fucking banger. I love it. Absolute banger city. Yeah, the Ace Attorney peaks are the, the breakdowns are so good. Yeah, that was like, I was like, I talked to Brad about this, because I was like, I was so excited for case one, because I thought we were going to lawyer as Athena, and then it's like, no, you're lawyering as, as Phoenix. And I was like, okay, but I guess as somebody who, like, hasn't played these games when they came out, the idea of returning to Phoenix after so long not playing as Phoenix is a pretty hype moment. But for me, I've been playing these games in a row, so it's like, oh, okay. You know, I haven't had that much time since I last played as Phoenix, so it's whatever. But um, I I, enjoy, I do enjoy that case 1, 2, and 3 is literally Phoenix, Apollo, Athena. Then the DLC, of course, is Phoenix, because it's his, technically his quote-unquote first case back. Um, I'm wondering who's the going to be, not the main character, but I wonder who's going to be the main lawyer we play as for case 4 and 5. Do not answer that, by the way. Please do not answer that. Um, but I am, I am interested to seeing, like, who, who we're going to control, or maybe we're going to, like, switch. Also, frame rate drop from the confetti. Confetti can only fall at half speed. Game runs at 60 FPS, confetti runs at 30. Court is adjourned. Let's go. Nice. Dramatic confetti. All I know, I will say this. All I know is like the, the, the one thing I'm looking forward the most of Spirit of Justice when we get there is uh if you've ever watched uh clear tonic you would know that he has a reoccurring joke and i didn't know where it came from until recently but it's where he like gets up close to the mic and just does a good old loud pool of souls and apparently that's from apparently as far as i understand that's from spirit of justice and i have no idea what pool of souls means And I'm excited to eventually find out. <laughs> oh, she's going back to... Okay, yeah, she's back to the knitting. Nice. Oh, is this where she, like, kind of falls in love with Apollo? Yeah, she likes Apollo. That's cute. I swear to God, if I see Darian. Yo, anime. We've got a special treat for all of you. A love letter for Themis Legal Academy. Achtung, baby. It's time for the guitar serenade. Is it the song from the Apollo Justice? It's the song from Apollo Justice. Also kind of weird that he's looking at her with like kind of loving eyes and she's in the outfit that his mother wears. I'm just saying that that's a little, just a little weird. A little, a little, uh, I don't want to say Oedipus, but just, just kind of awkward for us to know, but he doesn't know, but we know. It's a little weird. It's a little, it's a little weird. Yeah, a little sus. He doesn't know, but we know. It's the dramatic irony of that.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Aww. Yeah. He was gonna confess the truth. Scuttlebutt! Scuttlebutt needs to, like... You know, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Scuttlebutt is a better reporter than either, um... Lotta Heart or Nicole Swift is. Scuttlebutt is better. Better name, better character, funnier. Not annoying. I hate Lotta Heart. <laughs> she is in my dumpster tier maker. It's not a high bar. That is fair. Forgot, these are the scenes where if I click the B button, it just skips the whole text box. Scuttlebutt Superior. <laughs> Scuttlebutt number one. Scuttlebutt the best. Scuttlebutt is the best. The Discord in our ever cheerful Apollos. Yeah, don't forget, join the Discord if you want stream updates and uh, discussions when they happen. They don't happen often because I am super terrible at keeping up with things. But definitely stream updates on the Discord. I think as exclamation point Discord should work. I think it does. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And I always at I always I always do an at here when I'm going live. Uh, any stream updates like with things coming up in the future that I feel are important, I'll put on there. And any kind of things I need to like really share with people, I'll put in there. Uh, there's also a place for people if they want to share their streams. If you're looking for anything else to watch from people in the community. Uh, Shocked Aqua has posted in there before. I know Rio has posted in there before. That's open. Um, yeah. I don't really, like, pimp my av like my Discord out all that much. And I'll never, like, post it on, like, Twitter and stuff. Because I just, like, not, that's not the crowd I want. I'd rather have, like, people that are active in the, ch in the stream, not the chat. You don't have to be active in the chat. My lurkers. I love my lurkers. You can lurk all the time. I'm fine. If you lurk, I love you. I have a lurk command, I think, now. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, the Discord's a great place to really find any updates on the stream. As well as my Twitter's a great place to also follow me uh, if you want updates on my stream or when I go crazy and be mad about stupid politics. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I do post politics on all my Twitter. All right. With that being said, let's watch the trailer for the Cosmic Turnabout, and we'll call it a stream. Save the game. Alright, trailer time. Get your popcorn out. Oh, shit. Yeah, the courtroom bombing from uh, 1. Dark Age of the Law. Oh, so we're playing as Apollo. Alright, we're back to Apollo. Uh-huh. Somebody above Ted tonight who's like pulling the, the strings?
Hmm, interesting. I get a cutscene? Anime? Oh, anime. This anime runs at 10 FPS. Oh, space is too much for the Citroen handle. Oh my god. One hour remaining until lunch. <laughs> Alright, it's funny. It's funny. You have to understand, in space, time only moves at one-sixth the speed, right? We're all, we're all right now, we're all infected with Radical Six. Man, this is like the one, this is like the worst running cutscene so far in the game. I wish it were 15 FPS. It says 10. 39% speed, 10 FPS. It's running poorly, dude. It's running mad poor. Citra, damn it. <laughs> oh, Citra. That that sounded so bad. All right, well, we got an astronaut that's dead. Great. Rip. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that's it.